welcome to everybody from my side. Uh, me and uh, Michael, we are in Vienna in a kind of slight lockdown. Uh, and it's a pity that we can't be in, in, in Pecha with you because it, that would be easier for us and nicer. And we are sure that, but still we are sure that the project will, uh, will help you to, to go on with uh, your idea and your project and to improve the, uh, the situation that you have there. Um, I, am, I am going to make a small introduction about uh, the project. Uh, this action is founded by the Ocean Development Agency uh, through the BASID uh, grant scheme. That is, uh, that is uh, the focus is building administrative capacities in the Danube region and Western Balkan. Um, and is managed by the Ostia Association of Cities and Town and KDZ that is a center for public administration research. Um, I have a, a presentation about the history of this project. Uh, here's one. Here we go. I think you can you can see it right now. Yes. Yeah. Um, is a is a is already a long project because we start in 2018 to think about this project and uh, we are only implementing it after more or less two years. Uh, I start to speak with Michael two years ago about uh, the idea to do something with, uh, uh, with Kosovo, with Pekka, with Urim and after two years we are, uh, it's a pleasure to be there and to uh, to implement uh, this project uh, is also, is only online, but yeah. Nevertheless, we will try to do our best. Uh, as I say, so a presentation of the Basi found uh, and what is the mm, the main point of uh, the main idea of a Basi uh, Basi found is to transfer some administ administrative capacity from Austria to the West ba uh, Balkans country and Moldova. And with small projects uh, where we can act directly with uh, the people that uh, people and association that are living there and to uh, mentoring and sharing practical experiences. Um, why we choose the topic about bike and uh, tourism. Uh, I am so I am in love with bike, I, can, I have to say. Uh, and then we found out that his uh, bike is a, uh, is a, has a, lo a lot of um, positive, uh, positive things. And is um, is also mentioned by the United station and the, uh, as a as a tool to reach the the seven uh, SDGs, uh, the Sustainable Development Goals. And then the World Cycling Alliance has calculated that cycling is directly uh, delivering on half of the goals. And I make like a a small, a really, uh, a really small uh, summary about this one. Then I will give you all the, all the material that we have. It will be for at the end of the webinar. Will be, uh, we will send you everything. Uh, we are like partner from Austria and from uh, from Kosovo. And also, we are pleasure to have some partner from Albania. Uh, thanks to be here, Ernest and Kledisa. 
Um, Francesco, sorry yeah. if I'm interrupting, but Uri is writing that there are people on the waiting room Wait. on the chat. Okay, uh, just a moment. Uh, so, uh, so, okay. Okay, sure, everything, everybody. Should Hi, yeah, okay. Everybody should be online, nobody more is in the waiting room. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. Uh, no, 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 okay. Um, Eutropia is a consulting firma that is uh, working in the field of the European project, uh, is managing uh, Horizon 2020 project, and, and also uh, is the main, the lead partner of uh, JP Urban Europe project, and then is doing uh, consultation all around Europe, because as Eutropian we have, uh, we are like, uh, a team that is working remotely in different countries of Europe, uh, Hungary, Austria, Italy, uh, and France. So we are in, in several countries and we are working remotely together <coughs> uh, with different, uh, in different topics, but all the, um, we are architects and city planner. That's the, a small presentation of Eutropian. Then I want to give the floor to Urim to present, uh, to say something about Let's Do It Peja. Urim, are you with I'm us? Here. So. Sorry, I unmute the microphone. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Francesco. Uh, I wish welcome to everybody to the webinar. Unfortunately, uh, this was planned to be held to take place in, in Peya uh, during April, last April. But unfortunately, due to these crazy circumstances, uh, we were not uh, uh, able to organize it uh, uh, in person, this, this uh, webinar. Uh, otherwise, uh, we were forced to organize it on uh, online and uh, sometimes people hesitate to take part in the uh, online uh, presentations and uh, workshops but uh, thank you for all of you that uh, have joined our uh, webinar today uh, i think uh, uh, the outcome that will come from uh, this workshop will be very useful for uh, us here in Peya, especially for uh, a tourism office, uh, perhaps if, for urban planners in Peya and for us as environmental protection organizations, as uh, through this we uh, will help us to increase uh, awareness about the environmental protection from the traffic and uh, increase uh, encouraging people to use uh, biking uh, uh, mm. more than the, uh, the cars. So welcome to everybody, a special uh, uh, thanks to the director, uh, Lendita Mohajiri, who has done everything to join uh, our meeting today and the virtue to that uh, we do presentation for, uh, PEA, from PEA Tourism Office. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, then I want to give the floor to Michael, uh, he is the boss of Consens, he is a um, uh, traffic, uh, traffic planning um, office in, here in Vienna. So please, Michael. Yes. Thank you, Francesco. Hello to everybody. I'm happy to see you. I'm also a bit sad that we don't meet in real life this time, but maybe there will be another opportunity for that uh, later. So my name is Michael, as Francesco said, I'm, I'm 
transport planner for more than 20 years now. And in 2018, I, I founded my own transport consultancy, Consens Mobilitäts Design. If you translate this to English, it would mean mobility design, because we think that mobility is not something that is has to be planned technically only, because you really need to design it, mobility in a way that it contributes to, to better cities, to better communities, so that people can 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 live better, that city centers especially are become more attractive for people who move there. And of course, it's a contribution to a better environment. So we are based in Vienna. We're doing a lot of projects in Austria. Most of our projects are in Austria. We're doing a lot of studies, but also uh, designing urban space, designing streets in Vienna, in other cities of Vienna, in small communities. And we're having a big project in Germany at the moment. It's a, a, a street that in in Lörrach, in the city of Lörrach, it's it's the border to Basel, to Switzerland. So yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to contribute something that brings you as the city of Peja forward. And I'm very curious. I, I will ask a lot of questions to understand what your needs are, and then hopefully have some answers or maybe ideas, some inspirational ideas, what you what you could do. Okay, thanks. Uh, then if some someone from the tourist office of or from the city of Pekka want to make like a a small introduction about the city or something like that or I'm going on and then I can give the floor to the tourist office for the presentation if you agree. I think it would be good like everybody who's in the meeting to understand who you are, yeah. which institution you are from and what's your role today. So for me it would be helpful to understand that. So Ernest, can you make a small presentation from Etmi side? Okay. Yes, my name is Ernest. Hello, everyone. I am a youth project manager and also a youth non formal education trainer here in, in Albania. And, and my role today is basically to help support with translation that might need or might occur in order to smooth the conversation that we have today in the Zoom meeting. The voice is very, very broken. We cannot understand nothing now. Uh, okay. Can you hear me better now? A little bit better, but still is like hear me? a metallic voice. It's, bet it's better now. It's better? Yeah? It's much yeah. better now. Much better. Okay. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> Okay, my name is Ornest. I am a youth project manager and a youth informal educational trainer here in Etni, Albania. We are a partner of uh, of Let's Go with Peya and also of Entropia. We have collaborated uh, with them before. And uh, my role today will be basically to smooth the uh, conversation in case of needed translation that might occur from Albania to English. Okay. okay, thanks. Uh, then thank you. Thank you a lot, uh, Ernest. Then I see um, Vitri Morina. Sorry to for the pronunciation. If you want it's okay. to, it's okay. It's okay. So okay. my name is Virtut Morina. I'm working municipality of Pea in the tourism sector, and uh, this is for the moment. Okay, thank you. Then uh, I so also my director is here, so she can speak. Okay, if she want to make to yes, a small please. Hello, good morning to everybody. Uh, I'm happy to know, even if it's online. Uh, I'm very happy to make uh, my uh, introduction. 
uh, am a new uh, director uh, in the municipality of uh, Bea uh, in the uh, development uh, of uh, economic uh, development and uh, I'm very motivated uh, to give my uh, uh, motivation to the city and to make it greener, to develop uh, more walking area, biking, and less cars and pollution. Uh, so uh, your ideas and collaboration will be very helpful. Okay, super. Um, then I see online, uh, I can see online uh, Gent Agoli. If you want to say some word. Hello everyone, I'm Gent Agoli. Um, I work for Let's Do It Pea and a project manager here. Uh, I've been working here for uh, more than a year, uh, uh, probably a year and a half. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to uh, being part of, th of this uh, online meeting. And I hope that I can contribute uh, as much as I can. Thanks a lot. For having us. Thank you. Then I see uh, some uh, Erton Decani. Yes. Uh, so I hope you can hear me now and see me, probably. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Tom Desani. I'm from Peya. I'm with a, I'm a volunteer with the Cycling Association. We are we are Bikers Without Borders called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the name of our or in French such as Sicily Sans Frontier in okay. French. This is our association. We have been uh, registered from 2010. We okay. have been creating uh, biking routes. We have been organizing events, different events with bikes, of course. We have two or three uh, already used the bike lane, which we go by every day. Today, I'm replacing my colleague, Arjan Harji. Okay. Well, he, will, he was not able to make it. We are all volunteers, and we all do all our work has so far has been done on a volunteer basis. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm very much <laughs> I'm appreciated that uh, I've been invited to this uh, webinar, and I hope that I can contribute more and, and I can explain to you of the routes in PEA and I can share my experience with all of you. Thank you for having me. Thank you a lot. Um, then I can see uh, Cledisa, if you want to introduce yourself. Uh, can you hear me? Yep. Now? Yeah, perfect. Now? Okay. My name is Lidisa Tella. Uh, I'm an environmental engineer. And uh, now at the moment I'm working as a project coordinator at the uh, Environmental and Territorial Management Unit. Okay. Oh. And you are from Albania? Yeah. Yes, I'm from Albania. Okay. Um, then Dorentina Dakai. Uh, no. <coughs> mm. Then uh, Tauland. Hello, everybody. My name is Tauland Bingia. I'm from Kosovo. I work for Let's Do It Pea. I'm a project officer. Sorry, I have problem uh, with internet connection. Okay. Just for point, Yeah, yeah it's we also I also had the, like the <laughs> everything was running for the during the last week, and I had internet a crash, connect. Like, <laughs> I had a crash like 10, 10 minutes ago, so it was like panic. We had the, like a ten minutes panic before starting the the workshop. <laughs> That's the rule of the technology. <laughs> Uh, then I can see Albiana. Hi, yeah. good morning. 
Good morning. Do you hear me? Yep. I am Albiona Chavoli. I work for International Organization for Migration. I am a, a Migration, Environmental, and Climate Change focal point for the IOM mission in Kosovo, and I am based in Kea. So I am attending this webinar today to learn from your experiences in regards to environmental protection for PEA municipality. Okay. Um, then I, uh, online is also Bahanur Nazia. Is my, she is my, my boss. She is uh, one of, she is part of Eutropian and uh, right now she has to do some other online call because she is coordinating uh, other projects. Or are you there, Bahnur? Ah, hello, okay. I'm here. Uh, I just want to say hello. I'm um, yeah, I'm following you. Unfortunately, I have a few meetings today, and um, we are just about to yeah, we are in partial lockdown and it's very difficult to organize all those things but i'm with you i uh if you need me and i'm also here to to follow the process and very um enthusiastic that we have this collaboration despite all those conditions and i think it's very meaningful and important for the, this transfer knowledge transfer and activation and yeah i'm here but i will be muted and um uh, I will stop video now, but I'm here if you need me. Take care. Thanks. Have a nice workshop. Thank you a lot. Bye. Um, so my idea now is to, I also have to present myself. Uh, I am working for Eutropia. I am a city planner, but I am also um, a bike teacher in a, in a lobby organization for to promoting bike here in Vienna. The name is Rad Lobby. And then since a couple of months, I am also a bike messenger for three days per week. So it's like my, I, I can say that my life is, uh, is moving around the bikes in, in some way. Um, Francesco? Yeah. What does it mean, uh, bike messenger? Uh, I am using service. I am delivering stuff around Vienna with um, this cargo bike, this big cargo bike, electric cargo bike. Uh, I am in a company that is um, that are setting up like a, a system to deliver uh, stuff with the. Uh, with the cargo bike to replace, um, we are replacing a lot of uh, normal um, small van and stuff like that to deliver in the city center and also uh, in the main, in the most central district of Vienna. Yeah, like uh, so, we have from small bike till we can. Uh, we are delivering with till 300 kilos of stuff like that. So, uh, is a logistic in the logistic branch. Um, I'm going on with the presentation. As I said, we already start in 2018. The idea uh, we start to write down the idea with Urim and uh, uh, at me, so Mavis is not, is not there, but he will join us tomorrow. So it's a, uh, it's a tripod partnership from Albania, Austria, and Kosovo. And uh, we, we are doing uh, the online webinars because we are still convinced that what we wrote and what we start to think two years ago are still actual and and after the the covid pandemic we think that is uh is quite strange to speak about tourism in this during this time but still uh we are going to uh give ideas and uh, example and to work with you uh and what we are uh, showing you is uh it is like a is still actual and is still is it will be more and more important uh, 
uh, after the uh, after the COVID pandemic. Um, and then we have to say that uh, with Urim and Orest, we had the pleasure to meet in person in Pogrades. It was more or less one uh, one years ago in December, and we already start. We were like uh, we dream to meet uh, in Pecha. In it was April. Uh, me and Michael, we already had the the ticket for the flight, and then we had to cancel everything and to go on with the online uh, webinar. Um, as I say, it's quite strange to speak about tourism in these strange times, uh, but at the same time, uh, what we learn from the first wave and what we are learning from the second wave, from this pandemic situation, uh, is that, uh, is that um, uh, the cycling uh, is, a, is resilient, healthy, sustainable, affordable, and a low social distance. Uh, during the summer, um, I'm, I'm also working with a, an Italian company as a, as a tour leader for the, uh, for the bike trips. And they only had the possibility to make, uh, they are also doing normal, they are also organizing normal uh, holiday. But during this summer, they only did uh, bike tours because is, he, there was an explosion of bike tours, bike tourism uh, for several reasons. And the first one was social distancing and is a safe, uh, safe and healthy way of moving and right now we are seeing after the the covid pandemic that uh, the individuals uh, the individuals uh, mobility won and there are uh, more and more car on in the street uh, because the people also here in vienna for example are using less the public transport system but on the other side, uh, there, are, uh, there was an increase of cycling, and more and more people uh, switch to the uh, to the to the bike, and we are using bike uh, every day to move in the city and also in the mo in the small uh, village. We had to after the COVID, we had to rethink our project to set up uh, other way of working together and this one is is our final workshop it will be uh, we are working together today and tomorrow tomorrow with the presentation of the the um the results and i want to underline that uh what we are speaking about is not only about tourism, uh, is also uh, the influence of mobility in our daily life. Because if we are creating uh, something that is working and is better for the population, then it's quite easy to, uh, to open it and to use it also uh, for the tourism. And I want to give you like uh, my my thought, my point of view. I it's from a post from the Urban Cycling Institute from University of Amsterdam, of Amsterdam. Some days ago, I found out this post, and is uh, there are two photo of the same street. One is. Uh, at the end of the 60 years and once is uh, we took the photo this summer and if we facilitate traffic our city are flooded with cars if we facilitated people our city flourish for humans it's not is not a technical but a political choice and i think is quite uh, we are happy that we have like uh, people from the municipality and uh, I think that we can give a lot of ideas and material 
to work on. And now let's start the workshop. I think now um, I want to ask uh, to um, B3, uh, how long are you going to be with us today? Francesco? Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure. Okay, today I will be uh, uh, almost all day. Okay. Uh, maybe just uh, from 12 to 1.30 I will be uh, busy because we have one meeting with uh, one municipality from uh, Montenegro. Okay. And maybe we can be uh, late like 30 minutes or, but okay, we will great. be all the day. Yes. Perfect. That because it's like, uh, I, we, I met uh, with uh, Michael in Vienna and it's like for us it's important to have you as a, a stakeholder to understand mm -hmm. your need and to, uh, to give you feedback and ideas to, to shape our, the, the feedback about on your needs. Okay, thanks. Um, then um, I give to all of you the right to share the screen. So uh, who is going to start the presentation from uh, of Pekka? You or Urim? I will be in presentation. Okay. The translator is uh, ready. Uh, Ores? Uh, where is it? You hear me? Yeah. Okay, I'm here. Okay, I can and hear also you. Also, just one uh, small technical issue. There were other logos in project. Mm -hmm. In your presentation, uh, yeah. where is the flag of Kosovo stars? That's a country uh, logo. Ah, <laughs> okay, city. sorry. So just make the changes. Okay, then, the, okay. Where is I, I will. I will change yeah. it. So if you then, if you send me the, the the right logo, then I will. I'm going to to change it. The logo are right. Just the name. Uh, oh, okay. Pea City to. Okay. You see, you see one logo with a red and uh, with one castle. Okay. So that that is a Pea City logo. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Urim, 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 yes. Urim, 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 okay. Oh, a tabo in a share? Oh, bam. Tivet and Tragon could have just slowed in theater, okay? Oh, as Urim, as a blair, the last to preach Mulil, the second blair and Mulil. Okay. Uh, Francesco? Uh, there are people in the waiting room. Could you check, uh, please? Uh, okay, right now, admit. Please admit. pay, pay yeah. attention time to time to, 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 to check if, if there are people. Yeah, so. yeah, okay. I'm going to check. Thank right you. Right. Yeah. Thank so, you. Perfect. Okay, now I will open the presentation and we will do a presentation, okay? Oops, sorry. Uh, I have a... I have. A, I am going to ask you something more. Uh, if you, if you can, uh, in the na in, in your name, to write your name and the uh, association uh, that that you belong to. So then I can. I have to make some regular uh, screenshot, and uh, the screen. We are going to use the screenshot as a signature uh, for Basid. If you can, so Cledisa Sela at me and Ornet Saratio so at me. So to, if you can add the name of your organization to your name, please. My name is Vertut Morina. That is a written name. I yeah. Think. And the organization is Municipality of Peya. Perfect. Yes. So please, who is going to start? Okay, Urim. Can you see? No. I don't see. Okay. Okay. 
Kaç? 4 4. Yok oh, galiba. No. Let's so just hold for a second, please. Atapa, why on a pitch to it or any help? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right now we start to see something. Yeah. Okay. So are you ready? Yes, we're it. I think I'm okay. ready. And translator? Yes, always ready. Okay, perfect, perfect. Hello everyone. Michael Francesco present. So hello everyone, Michael Francesco and everybody else. I'm happy to be here with you and to present uh, PEA as a touristic location. And hopefully in the future, using your best practices will make uh, Paya City even better ongoing. Paya Green and Vital City, also Paya Gerber de Vitale. Okay. So Paya Green and Vital City is the slogan of the development plan of Paya City. Which comes after the development of uh, years and years ongoing. Yeah. Which shows that the Pea municipality is over 70% as a green space. Uh, where we can mention Bieshka and Nemuna, the Rugova part, which are in Pea, located yes, in Pea. The fields of Pea and the parks of Pea. Also, Vital City had a result in a dynamic at Banorve to Pea. Vital City has come as a dynamic of the Pea City citizens. The result is some some active the maton jat just go has si jat. Okay, which uh, the PS citizens are very active even during the week and further on even on the weekends uh, with the uh, with the that's why it's called vital cities especially. Uh, and the uh, Paya city citizens are considered as uh, uh, one of the most uh, recreative uh, citizens in all Kosovo. Orem and Roy. After Poshkoi Medisa Fakt is Kurtar of Paya's. So we're going with some quick facts regarding Paya. The Takananya Pashult Makias Chkala Paya Kujin the Tale. So we can see better what's going on in Peya. Peya children are very friendly in Kosovo. It's located in the northwest of Kosovo. Virtuta, don't you tell you to fact that it's paid out on the card is paid, it's paid, right? Tell you in English. Mille zoom munden po mi spiegu ast kreci. Ah, okay. Mille zoom munden. Okay. Okay. Good fight. Top, top. Sluten. Muta per services. Ama son Pea zindet an very parendim Kosovas. Yes, Pea is located in the northwest of Kosovo, as we mentioned. Uh, 
Peya is one of the largest city uh, uh, territory wise, which is uh, 603 kilometers square. Uh, uh, regarding as the city wise, it has only Sajishta Siprafacha? 20 kilometers square. So the city of Pea isn't that big? But the most important part that in this 20 km square space there is a lot of green space. The population is around 100,000 inhabitants. Uh, uh, 100,000 inhabitants is the whole uh, commune of Peya, and the city itself has around 46,000 inhabitants. Uh, uh, the altitude in the city of Peya is around 530 meters. So, so my, my and the highest peak uh, is uh, uh, Guri Kuch, which is two th uh, 2,522 meters. Uh, what's important is that Peya is uh, uh, the, uh, an entrance gate in the uh, accursed mountain national park. Uh, which is uh, of importance for the development of tourism in, in Peya. And, it has an easy access uh, regarding, uh, in comparison to the other cities in Kosovo, but also uh, transnationally with countries like Montenegro, for example. Uh, we also have two of the most important rivers in Kosovo, which is the, the White Drin and the Black Drin. Uh, uh, the, the, the white Drina river flows uh, from uh, Kosovo, Peya especially, and also crosses the Albanian country. Which uh, brings the potential for, for the cycling itineraries that go through from Kosovo to Albania also. Yeah, transnational and pro, uh, transnational projects. Uh, Peja is divided in four touristic zones. The main zone which has the highest potential is the Rugova zone. Which is, which is part of the uh, Rugova National Park and uh, has the largest uh, territory. So we have different kind of tourism which can be explored in, in this area like mountain tourism, rural tourism, agro-tourism and adventure tourism. Okay, uh, the, the next zone is the Peya zone, which as we mentioned uh, before, it hasn't a large territory, only 20 kilometers square, but uh, holds uh, a very important dynamic to it. Uh, 
where, where the, the main types of tourism with, that can be found in the Peya zone are the cultural tourism with events, uh, festivals, sport and culture events also. Okay, they have a, a very developed uh, cultural tourism with four, 14 points uh, spread it uh, inside the city. Okay, and uh, now they are thinking further on to develop uh, other cycling itineraries that go through Peya to other cities, no? The third zone is Radazzi. Which is, which is uh, most known for the, as an environmental zone. Uh, it's a, it's a, um, um, a protected zone, yeah. Okay, where, where the, the uh, protected zones are, are located uh, with a white uh, uh, Drina River, uh, especially, and to the caves that can be found in the Radazzi zone. Uh, it's a, uh, a, a zone with a high level of importance, which is located only 10 kilometers away from the city of Peya. And uh, there have been uh, planifications to develop an itinerary which uh, connects the city of Peya with the Radazzi zone for, for cycling. Which can be used uh, in the future even by citizens or guests, uh, uh, travelers that might come to the city of Peya. <laughs> And the fourth zone is called the EST zone. Which is located like 10 minutes away from the city of Peya. This zone is developed to be an, an education, sport and tourism zone. For moment in uh, For now, there is located the University Haji Zeka, which uh, has uh, 11,000 students in it. Uh, there, there are uh, sports zones around uh, this territory. And the future there, there will be developed also a, a ski zone basically in the EST zone which is will which will be further planificated in the future it's on the talks so the EST zone is a zone which uh, has developed the education sport and tourism zone which further on in the future might be of great importance for the city of Peya Atër, të 
So now we'll we'll enter in a more specified way the zones that we were mentioning earlier on. So the the statute of uh, the Rugova is a national park. So as we can see, the territory is of uh, 32,500, which is half of the uh, Accursed Mountains territory. Where we can mention the, the special protection zones, which are the Rugova Gorge and the, the Gubavci zone. Where we can mention that Rugova Gorge is one of the highest importance in all Kosovo, not only for the city of Peja, for uh, developing for the development of tourism. The culture and tradition are very typical, are very distinctive from the other zones. We have tra they have traditional games, they have traditional costumes. Which, yeah. Where, the, where they held uh, every year the, the festival of games in the, in Rugova, uh, which is of high importance in Kosovo. Traditional food, prosimi tradicionali, e kanë edhe ushimin e tjere tradicional, ma lorë do në thonë që i përdorët në tepër, se që ande që një kufria, speca, një mojtë, gjatë e tjerë. We have the traditional food, whereas we can see, mention some dishes like lecenik, flia, speca me maze, cheese, etc. Vësë asaj për këtë aktiviteteve turistike, mundet më bu hiking, o climbing, via ferata, cycling, mountain biking, o që në shkujnë në posë. From the acti activities which are held here, we can mention the hiking, rock climbing, via ferrata, cycling and mountain biking, skiing, Nordic skiing, spelunking, kayaking, and horse riding. Uh, we can mention the Tourism Award in 2013 from WTTC regarding the Tourism for Tomorrow um, in category Best Tourism Stewardship Destination. This has happened through the project Peaks of Balkans. Which uh, is a cooperation between Kosovo, Albania and Montenegro as a project. Where they have developed uh, uh, walking itineraries and uh, they hope that in the future they can create cycling itineraries also. Uh, uh, further down, you also have a link where you, you have a link to a video where you can check it also. We have the Peja city now, we're, which has a statute of municipality and a city territory of 20 kilometers square. Protection zone, yon qarshia vjetër dhe disa ndërtes atjera. As a protection zone of the city, we can mention the old bazaar and another historical buildings located in the city of Peja. Saj për këtë traditave dhe qyteti ka veshje në vetë në më thonë, ka muzike në vetë, ka disa aktivitetit tjera, për shembu, në tesa që i kanë. 
Russian special charity. Uh, traditional wise, they have their own city dresses code, they have their own city songs and wedding traditions which they which they keep. Also traditional food dishes that they have in Peya, we can mention Fia, Lesenik, Tava e Peis, etc. Drink-wise, uh, 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 we can mention the Peya beer, which is well known all around Kosovo and also out of the territory of Kosovo. Yes, it's Kosovo wise and internationally is very unique to, to, to have a beer of the city, so Peja beer has high importance for the city of Peja. Activities are born in the Domaton City Bike, Cultural Trail, and yet I notice. So, activity wise, we have the city bike and cultural. Nightlife. Okay, so uh, festival and event wise, we have Into the Park, we have the uh, Anibar International Animation Festival, we have the International Classic Guitar Festival, etc., which are held in the city of Pia. We also have, uh, we held with high regards the, the Judith champion of the Olympic Games, Mailinda Kelmendi, which is from the city of Peja. The Comuna Peja's in 2014, and the Ospal is Comuna Shamble. So, award wise, uh, the municipality of Pia in 2014 has uh, won the municipality example in Green Belt Corridor, especially from stopping uh, 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 of the hydropower plants uh, in the rivers flowing in the city of Peja, Dumbarde, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, yes, that's Yes. Orem, Arbe. This zona Radoci, do you know that the Peja is a statute in special, natural attraction? Also, we have Radoci zone with the statute of special protection zone under natural attractions. The main importance, importance wise, is the source of uh, uh, White Drin River. The main attraction, attractions are the Waterfall Trail and the Radatsi Cave. Traditional food wise, the dishes are are common also in uh, Rugova and Peja, as we mentioned earlier on. So, Lesenik, Fia, Spezza, Mels, cheese, etc. There's also a perket activity, going hiking, speleology. Uh, Education trail, family excursion. And activity wise, we have hiking, caving, educational train, trail, uh, family excursions, etc. Zona theater, Zona Est. Custatuti ne ko da me thonë është në plan zhvillimor komunal është zonë speciale për zhvillimin e kësaj qenë dhe si e para si të maherët edukative, sport, edukative. So, statewise is a special zone for education, sport and tourism. Distant është dhe dhe në pasë në minuta nga që qenë dhe që të të pejes. As we mentioned, the distance from the city center is only 10 minutes. E të kem maherët, universiteti existan atyo është funksional të me thonë. So as we mentioned early, the they have the public university of Hajizeka, the faculty of business. 
which has an average of 11,254 students. Facultetet që veprojnë janë fakulteti i biznisit, i turizmit, ashti juridik, agrobiznisit dhe muzikës. And the faculties that can be found there are the one of the business, of tourism, law faculty, agrobiznis and music. Sportet, saj përket sporteve, janë stadioni, këto facilitetet dhe më thonë, janë stadioni, sports hall, tennis field dhe recreation pass. So sport-wise, we have the stadium, we have a sports hall, we have a ten tennis fields, recreational parks, etc. And as we mentioned earlier, they are planning to, to build the ski resort in this area also. So the tourism offers are developed in three different levels. So locally wise, we have the hiking, rock climbing, via ferrata, cycling and mountain biking, skiing, Nordic skiing, spelunking, kayaking, horse riding, adventure park, fishing, cultural trail, etc. Nivelin regional që i këna lidhë dhe më thonë tri komuna, komunën e pesë dhe qanit edhe unikit me një shtep që e qësë në të gjash kilometra. So they, for the regional level, they have connected three municipalities, mi përme dhe jërë virtu të lutëm? Dhe më thonë në Alpeja, dhe qanit edhe unikë. Peja dhe qanit unikë. Dhe në të... Të lutëm. Edhe në nivel ndërku fitar, në mes të tri shteteve Kosovë, Marzi, Shqipëri, që e lidhë në Pixo dhe Balkan, që lidhë në shtepë një që në atë 2 km. And also on the cross-border level, we have the Pixo dhe Balkan trail of 192 km, and we have Dinarika trail and across mountain exquisite outdoor destination. Destination, që jam të i lidhë dhe në thonë shtizjet mes which connects itineraries between Kosovo and Montenegro in different ways. So now we are seeing some photos of the cultural heritage of the city of Peja. The second photo is from Rugova. And the waterfall of Radaci, which is 30 meters high. And on the third slide, we have outdoor activities which are held in. And the fourth one is winter tourism. The last slide are statistics. Uh, which is of high importance for the development of city of Peja, where we can see the number of visitors and uh, the nights where they are standing in the city. Sidomos dy vitet e fundit të të mëtë dhe në më e duhe në analizuar një aftë mirë, ku të regon që viti 2000 të të mëtë i ka pas 75.000 vizitor. Where of high importance we can mention the year 2018, where the city has held 75.000 vizitors. Vërsa vitin 2000 në më të kërmi ullje 65.000. And in 2019 they have a decrease of 65.000 vizitors only. Mirë po, ajo s'ka e të regon në qëndrushmërinë e turizmit, është qëndrushmëria e turizmëve në destinacion, ku nëse e shohë e mitin 2018. Of high importance, we can mention the sustainability of the number of visitors that come to the city of Peja, which has held. E shohë në vitin 2018, kemi 130.000 vizitorë. Where we see in the year 2018, there are 130,000 visitors. 
uh, and in uh, 2019 they have 150,000 visitors, even though the number of visitors has decreased from the year 2018. <laughs> Okay, so as we were mentioning earlier, uh, uh, this is uh, 130,000 are the number of nights that the visitors have stayed inside the city of Peya. In 2019, they have a higher number of uh, nights standing, but the number of visitors that have come to Peya has lowered by 10,000. I also understand the system of the situation is only if you have a read, which causes me to see tourism, since that if you have a good spending in my mouth on that list. So, of high importance is the increase of number of uh, nights staying for visitors, which is of high importance for the economy since it brings more money to the city. Which is I am the cover pro, I'm not nervous to keep on I'm not dreading to tariffs in number in a fiat of tourism destination. Tony, mir po yo per moment in a nominal tourism, sepse no cana infrastructure near push me for me or through. So they are working, they are leading towards the this pathway to increase the number of uh, visitors per night that stand in the city of Peya, but at the moment the city can't hold more visitors because they don't have the infrastructure to, to keep more visitors. This is all. Thank you for your attention. For more information, you have the link to the Visit Paya site, which is in the presentation. Thank you for your patience. Thank you a lot. I would like to ask some questions, if this is the right moment, Francesco. Yeah, I was, I was starting this moment, so perfect. You are perfect. Yeah. So first of all, I want to go there on holiday right now when I see <laughs> the pictures and when I listen to what you are saying and telling us. It really feels like it's a lot what you can do there. And I love the mountains, I have to say. It, so it it's really uh, looks so beautiful there. It's really impressive. Thank you so it's, much for it's sharing. a pity that we have this pandemia now. Uh, really, because if it's yeah. possible to have the meeting Easy. here in Peya, yeah. it will be uh, really different. It's it's really a pity. Yeah. yeah. I have some questions. I think I yes, understood. Please. I understood most of 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 what you're saying, and it was really interesting to understand the different tourism zones that you have. Do I understand right? I try to check on the map in the meantime that the Radazzi zone, is it north? It, is it north of Peya? In the north of Peya, 10 kilometers in the north. Did I understand that right from the map? Or uh, which one? Radazzi zone? Radazzi. Yes. yes, 10 kilometers from Peya, from the center of Peya. Yeah. And also that uh, red zone, so uh, it's on the north, on the border with Montenegro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what we are planning to connect uh, red zone, it's uh, going uh, all the going uh, cha water channel. So we are planning to uh, build like a trail for biking, recreation trail biking, and to connect these two zones between city and. Uh, because with Urgova, we, we have this uh, special uh, recreation trail that we connect uh, Peya Center City with Urgova Mountain. Now we want to connect also the part mm -hmm. where people can go for the weekend well, with a biking or like, if you go by biking, you need like a ten, uh, half hour to go for that. Yeah, it's not far it's, then. Yeah. It's not far away. It's very beautiful yeah. uh, and attractive zone. Yeah, that makes there sense. are now some restaurants and so people can stop there and uh, yeah. So we want to share uh, as more as we can, uh, like a destination in whole in whole uh, municipality, not keeping uh, like uh, with to say just in Rogova or just in Peya. No, we want to yeah. share uh, the destination in all the municipality territory, and to make uh, like special uh, thing for each zone, 
what is important yeah. to go to visit that. What what I wanted to ask you also is like the the est zone, the, the last one, you said 10 minutes away. Is it 10 minutes walking? Is it 10 minutes cycling or is it 10 minutes by car? Just to understand. It's 10 minutes walking. I, okay, I thought 15 it, minutes walking. Yeah. It's very close to Pea, but it's outside from the city. Yeah, but it's still very close. So Yeah, it's very close. And then one question for me is like where do the people actually stay that come to the Peya region? Like if you would go to Rugova, people would maybe stay one day, day in Peja, Peja, or would they go to an apartment, to a pension, to a hotel directly in Rugova, or would they stay in Peja and then go from Peja to do a hiking trip or a bike trip in, in Rugova? But how does that work? Well, we have different uh, tourists. So we have some tourists who are staying in Peya in hotels and who, who wants more high level of uh, accommodation, like five star or something like that. And mm -hmm. to go during the day and to do different trips because Peya with Rugova, it's uh, only one kilometer. You can go walking and you're inside the Rugova okay. Canyon. So okay. there you can be different uh, activities during the day and come back again in the city okay. and okay. stay during the night, the night light, blah, blah. blah. But okay. also there are a lot of accommodation in Rugova, like uh, guest houses, like uh, villas, hotels, etc. It depends from the people what they want more. If they are more like uh, adventure people, they want more guest houses to stay with families, to share the experiences of the life there, to share the culture, tradition, and uh, different activities like in yeah. the rural village. And also we have some people who want just to stay with they, their families or they rent one uh, cabin to say, or villa, they stay there. And, yeah. uh, like okay. So it's both, it's Peya and it's yes. directly in the area. There are several possibilities to, to stay overnight. Yes. So it's good yes. to understand that. And yeah. where do the visitors come from? Or most of the visitors, are they coming from Kosovo, are they coming also from Montenegro, from Albania, and with which means of transport do they arrive? Are they all going by car or are some of them going by bus or are they going by train? And the next question, when they go cycling, do they bring their bicycles with them or do they rent the bicycles in Peja? So, uh, like uh, like uh, visitors, we have uh, from uh, mainly from uh, Europe, uh, uh, especially they are coming from uh, Germany, Italy, Switzerland. Okay, so uh, it's international. Czech Republic, international, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. But uh, also we have uh, in inbound tourism development, uh, like yeah. uh, national uh, visitors uh, who are coming from different uh, cities from Kosovo, like Pristina, Jakova, Prizren, Mitrovica, Gigan, yeah. etc. Uh, mostly also we have uh, like, uh, so they are coming from, from uh, two, uh, like, uh, two entrances of how to go with an uh, airplane by air and okay. also by road uh, uh, from uh, by car or by bus, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's and important also to, to uh, mention that we have also railway from Bea to Pristina. Okay, and uh, we are we are very uh, we have a very willing to uh, to increase the using of railway from tourists yeah. because that railway has has a connection from Pristina to Macedonia then in Skopje. So in future uh, to to use this one, and also uh, or or the vision is uh, to create to be linked uh, with iron routes in Europe, uh, which are uh, routes for biking created through the high, uh, railway that are, or pass the railway. But that's, that's more in the future. Yeah, but is it allowed to take a bike on a bus in the Peya region? Like yeah. you would say you want to go to, Ru or, you, or everybody who has a bike is going on the bike in Peya and then going cycling to Rugova and then up the mountains, or you don't need to have bikes on a bus or? Yes, it's allowed to take a bus. In 2010, we made like iconic bus, 
we uh, paint the bus with uh, different uh, with, uh, colors of uh, nature and, and also we, we uh, put this uh, uh, in uh, behind the bus we put this uh, to put the bike I would say yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, kind of bike rack yes yeah. yes that is. yeah but also okay. people uh, people uh, can take a uh, rent a uh, bike and uh, go from Peya to Rugova by bike all the day yeah. for this maybe with Artem we can discuss uh, more later about this how uh, they run the bikes and uh, but uh, for the moment uh, we can discuss all the questions yeah and my, my most important question would be to you but to everybody actually in Peja also to to the, the cycling organization in which way do you think we can help you like or what what are your questions what are your thoughts that you would like to share or what what are your questions that we, you would like to have answered or where do you think you would need some advice Ice. or ideas that's the, probably the most important question in which way can we support you like to every to everybody in Vega now. Yeah. Just, wait. Just director want to say uh, some words. Lendita. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, it's very important for me and us uh, since uh, cycling is already developed in your country to already have your ideas and your proposition of what we could develop uh, here in Vega. It's firstly, it's more important to see your view. How would you see that we can develop cycling here since uh, already it's working and it's already since very long time developed in other countries and yours. Okay. So maybe firstly, we would need to see your uh, view and your ideas to help us. That would be very helpful. Okay, thank you. Okay. Will, <coughs> will be a good idea if we have one uh, to say a starting point uh, to see how can Peya be for, for, for the moment, especially city of Peya. How can we develop like cycling in Peya, uh, which is the most uh, easy and uh, good ways and uh, how we can promote uh, using the biking from the citizens of Peya more and more. Okay. Okay, that, thank you. Um, I have one more question. Um, Michael asked you if, you, uh, if the people can bring the bike to the bus. I, I want to ask you if you are allowed to bring the bike in the train. So from, for example, I want to fly, I'm going to fly to Pristina with, uh, uh, with my bike and then can I carry uh, my bike uh, from Pristina to Pekka by train, uh, is, it po is it possible? Yes, no? Uh, wait, okay. Um, I can wait. just, uh, if I can just, uh, we, we, n we never had this experience of uh, a person bringing the bike into the train. <laughs> So, okay. but it should, uh, it's, it's not like, like uh, it's forbidden or anything. It, 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 it still might be allowed, but uh, we haven't had this experience before. We as a cycling, cycling organization, we have uh, managed to have uh, 20 bikes so far we have in Peya region. So we have 15, uh, yeah, 15 mountain bikes and five are city bikes. And the city bikes are rented, of course, from the, from the we have a, uh, with another association, we have an agreement. They are renting our our bikes, since most of the time we are doing also other things. We are just uh, on voluntarily basis uh, running this association. Mm -hmm. and with our we own we are only like three people, but we have a, a large group members which are joining us for the rides. And uh, what tourists mostly do, what what we had experience in this last years, we had tourists coming and renting the bike in Peña City. But we also have tourists who are came with their own bikes. Uh, we had tourists like who were driving like 300, 400 kilometers. Uh, they usually 
book us in advance. So we, we had cases when we had also the bikes sent to the tourists to their location in Rogoba. For example, we have, we have a tourist which were in Drelay located, which is like 70 kilometers away from Pea. So we, we sent the bikes there and we took a ride with them till Boge. There was a, like family members. Uh, so these are the, some of the, um, just a small briefing how the, the, this, uh, the process is organized. But uh, I, would, I would also just like to mention that, because uh, when it's interesting to know that when we are speaking about bike trails, uh, all the trails which we have worked on so far and which we all have now in Rogova or in our region, they are all, as I call them, shared trails, meaning that uh, we have, you can use them with bikes. They are marked with the bikes. They are marked with the pedestrians, but they're also, can, vehicles can be engaged in these roads. We call them trails, but they're not like specific only for bikes, like you see in, <laughs> in Austria, or in Sweden, or in, and, and in all the development countries. So I would, I, my, my idea would be that it's like, if, if you guys want to help is for us to create a specific bike lanes. It can be a trail, but also to be a lane. Okay. Like, because uh, it's different when you, when you invite somebody for a bike and you tell them that they have bike trails and then you have also vehicles coming there and pedestrians. So uh, we, I always try to push this, my, this idea that we should have only bike lanes specific for bikes because uh, the, the, the mountains, uh, our mountains are very steep and the speed which you gain on these is kind of sometimes, it's not, you have to be very cautious because you have also pedestrians coming and also the vehicles. So my idea would be, my, my, I would like to, if, if you guys propose us to see how we can build a bike lane, specific bike lanes, because uh, we are doing the shared trails, we are working with them, we are uh, using a lot of them, but we still don't have a specific bike lane. That's my <laughs> idea. That's what I would like, I like to push for pay or any or entire Kosovo. <laughs> are you, just a question. Are you talking about, are you talking about the mountain bike trails like yes. up in the mountains or are you talking about like bike path in or around Peja? That's, uh, that, that's the thing, uh, we don't have bike path bath only for, for specific, only for bikes. We have roads which we use them, which we mark them, which we can use for biking, but also it's a mixture, it's a shared, can, it can be used also for vehicles, also for pedestrians, so it's, it's mixed. We don't have a bike path specific for only for bikes. Like, for, like, yeah, like dedicated one, like Tuti is saying, for example, we want to go to Peja to Radovs, mm -hmm. which is eight kilometers, 10 kilometers right. It's perfect, but we have to use uh, the roads which are being also as a primary road for the, for the city and for the other village, for the cars. So, yeah. So uh, this is what we have. Yeah. In the mountains, in the mountains, we have the, the roads are there. We just we just mark them so we can use uh, the cycle. Some of them are not being used by the some of them are not used by the by vehicles, but some of them are are being used. So we have that's what I call them. I I, I name them as shared biking trails because it's shared. This is being used by vehicles, by bicycles, by pedestrians. So it's difficult. Um, but we have can, also from, can, the, from, the, from sorry, but we also have uh, trails which we mark uh, for the from different municipalities, from Pea to Istok to Unik to Duchan. We even have uh, trails marked from Montenegro, Albania, Kosovo, which we mark them, and there are signs for for the bikes and everything, which you can use. But they also all, like some of them are shared. Part of them are shared. Part of them, no vehicle can go, which is good. But part of them. <laughs> you might encounter a vehicle in, in the path, so in the road. I hope I uh, was clear. <laughs> but, but you used always, where is the low uh, traffic, uh, yes. like local road? Yes, 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 yes. In a deep Secondary spaces, roads. Well, yeah. there is urban roads. Road, third roads, yes. Urban, urban roads, most of them, like those roads are which we use are asphalted, but they are very rarely used by the vehicles. Yes. So mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, this. I'm just sharing my experience. I'm, I'm not imposing anything. <laughs> um, 
from my experience uh, here in Austria and uh, Italy about the I am speaking now about the mountain so the trade for the mountain bike I think is more uh, legal issues uh, because uh, right now when I'm mountain biking it's like I am allowed to go to some route and not allowed to to other route so it's more like uh, to speak, uh, I think with the, uh, the entity that is managing the, for example, the Rugova National Park, mm -hmm. and then it's like uh, to, to 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 find out an agreement with them uh, to start to think uh, which routes are uh, the the best route maybe for for example for downhill or to mountain bike. And so then it's like, is an uh, is a worker to find out an agreement, uh, sit down with a plan, and then to say, okay, we can close to um, for the peop for the people that are tracking, walking uh, some part of the route, and it's like then to put the right signal and to say, hey, you are not allowed to go there. Or, for example, what I also saw here in uh, close to Vienna, because we have like the Wienerwald, uh, is a really huge, um, uh, a really huge hill around Vienna. For example, some route you can go, you can only go up with the mountain bike, and you are not allowed to go down. So it's like. Uh, our share route yeah. and there are like some it's like you are allowed to go up so for sure you are going slow because uh, there is a, a re, is a really uh, difficult slope but then it's like uh, you can still share with the uh, with the people walking the the path and then there are yeah. some routes that are only for uh, mountain bike or for for walking and I think this one is uh, is a negotiation and is like start to speaking with the different uh, the, the different stakeholders have to sit down and speak and find out an agreement and then uh, make the signalization. Maybe you as a association you can uh, take care about the uh, maintenance of the signal and to uh, put the signal in the right. Uh, um, in the right position because you also have like a cyclist point of view and you know where is uh, at which level and where is better to to put the, the the signal and this one is for me is the answer about the uh, the mountain bike trails and how to you can start to develop and i think is more a, a, a legal is is more at one legal at the legal level Legal issue, yeah. Yeah, legal issue. Yeah, what do you so, think, Michael? Yeah. But uh, the, the problem in all side is because we, we don't have a standards for biking. And uh, still we don't have like a standards how to re, uh, build the road routes for biking. Or, uh, but I, th I think so for mountain bike, for the for the route uh, in, the, in the mountain, so it's like you don't, you don't you don't have the you don't have like a standard or, or something like that so you have is like uh is where the people are already uh biking and then to find out so it's like is a uh, is something wild and need to stay wild so it's like if you are you, you don't have to to do much work it's like is only the the main the main part is the uh find out where the people can bike and then to put the right uh, the right panel the right uh, signalization yeah but uh, because of uh, Ayrton was mentioning to, to have a special lane for biking if you want to make a special lane for sure you need to have a standard something or uh, to propose why you are building that lane for just for bike and uh, to it's just for bike. Um, this is kind of uh, because otherwise you can use all the roads in a mountain. It's not a problem. For, it's not forbidden. Yeah, you can use the roads and you can drive just in a special uh, protection zone. Maybe it's forbidden, but uh, in other parts you can go whatever you want by bike. 
like hiking and all this. Yeah. yeah. For example, here, so I can I can share with you the experience of the Wienerwald, so close to Vienna. It's like um, some where you are close to some biotope, so the really specific uh, zone. It's like you are not allowed to ride. And then now uh, from the first day of November till the end of February, you, you, you can't ride through the, through the hills because it's like a recovery period for all the species that are living, that are living there. So there is like a legal, uh, you, are, you are not allowed. And if you are uh, uh, biking through, and you find and you can uh, you can have a penalty if somebody is uh, is in country is seeing you uh, some and then it's like uh, I think they they built up the the network in the in the hills. It was like uh, speaking with the association and the people that were like already using the the, the, the bike the, the the path and then they divided the for example there is uh, some routes that are uh, uh, like sponsored by a bike shop uh, from vienna a mountain bike shop uh, sure. from the city and they 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 sponsor the some trails in the in, on the hills uh, of mountain bike and they think it's like it's more I think from your side is to sit down maybe with the association, uh, Cyclists and Frontier, and then to find out the uh, most beautiful routes by bike, and then to see, okay, are these routes also beautiful for the people that are uh, walking, that are trekking in our, uh, in our mountain? So maybe some routes can stay like shared routes because are already uh, bright, so bright enough so wide enough and they are and which route should we close and give uh, only to the people that are hiking and the people that are uh, biking um, it's like uh, regarding this point it's like there is not like a uh, standard it's like is to check the situation ch check what you have and then because it's like you are not going to construct uh, a, um, something extreme in the mountain some, something in the mountain that you are losing uh, the the wilderness of the place that you want to uh, to see that's my from my experience from my point of view what do you think michael you uh, you are still mute Sorry, yeah, I'm back again. Um, I think that what I try to understand is I think you have different, like different topics actually. When we talk about cycling in and around Peya, you have different categories. Now we're talking very much about the mountain biking category, as far as I understand. This is a very specific one. And I think what you said, Francesco, and also the others. I think it's, I can just agree to that, that the downhill is is causing the conflicts and the problems, the uphill, I think it's not, not a big deal. So the downhill is the issue. But we have another category, this seems to be like the, more the long distance trails or the trails from city to city or trails coming from Montenegro passing through Peja going on to Prizren or somewhere else. So this is a different category of cycling. This is, I'm a cycle, cycling traveler. I travel from place to place with my bike. And, and those, those cyclists have, of course, other requirements and other needs than, than cyclists that go mountain biking. And the third one or the third category for me would be the urban cycling in Peja and around Peja. Let's say going five kilometers, 10 kilometers out of Peja. So Peja and the surrounding. And then of course, it's a little bit different as the city center itself has a different characteristic. 
uh, than, than, than going outside. And so I think it would make sense to, to look at what are the needs for the different types of cycling and how, what, what are the most important uh, things or first steps and solutions to, to these different categories. And, and I'm just wondering whether I, I think maybe I don't start right now giving my opinion and my advice. Maybe it's just better to, to collect until 12 o'clock. So what's, what's it all about? And then in the afternoon session, we would, we would start with thinking about how, how could we get to the solutions if you're also, also there. Or maybe we start later. Maybe we start at 1:30 or at 2 when we're when you're when you're back again, so that everybody's here. So and then we would have like two hours now to prepare and just just think about what you were telling us, and then coming up with a more structured reply, and not just giving quick thoughts. So that's and, that's, that's important, as you mentioned before. Uh, we are we want to develop like cycling in Peya, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. to start from the city and around yeah. the city first of yeah. all yeah and uh, to have something maybe in the future to propose to mayor of Peya that uh, this is what we want to develop yeah. to make our city friendly for tourists and uh, for everybody who, who wants to, to come in Peya. yeah so if we now use the time maybe to to collect mm, maybe more questions or input in the next 15 minutes, then we may have a two hour break and at 2 p.m. we start again. And then we will try to give a more a structured approach to how you could start. I, I have a question for the, uh, for PEJA, the tourist office. Um, I want to know if uh, or so if you already experienced that a big group uh, or an organized group of cyclists uh, came to Vienna, uh, came to Peja. So if already like a tour operator already uh, put Peja as a stop during a one week, um, one week uh, tour or if you already see some uh, self-organized group that came to uh, to pick up is would be interesting for me if you know or so if it's possible for you to 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 answer to this question yes uh, we were working on this uh, way uh, before and we had uh, like a groups uh, different groups uh, who are coming uh, some of them they wanted to to do like cross border uh, biking you know, on on the mountain of course maybe Ertan can explain later about this uh, some of them are coming uh, because they are doing some activities with the bikes around Kosovo like uh, but uh, that is uh, like a tour the culture uh, so they are going like six municipalities around or all Kosovo around by bikes uh, in different cultural uh, point. Uh, uh, one way of promotion of Pea, like and also I mean Kosovo, also promotion of bike and cultural uh, cultural trip in Pea. Uh, we had before some discussion with uh, one England uh, one tour operator from England uh, to come, and, uh, but uh, we couldn't manage that because they have wanted to, a lot of specifics. Uh, to do that here in Bea, but that was before uh, six, seven years ago. Okay. I mean, and we have also the free bikers uh, who are coming uh, by bike, uh, who are traveling around, and they are coming also in Bea, and then continue uh, in uh, Montenegro from Bea. Okay. Yeah. So I think you already have like some facilities for a uh, for a big group. So like uh, yes, yes, yes. An hotel that can host for for one night, like a big group, uh, and then maybe um, do you already have like some bike shop uh, that in in Pekha that we have a like bike shop. We have a place where they can maintain the bikes, and uh, also like they can rent the bikes also. And 
also like Ayrton, it's from association. They did a training uh, how how to uh, develop this uh, bed and biking. Okay. So uh, yes, so they did some training through some uh, project. Maybe he can explain us after about this. Great. Yeah, but but all but all of this must uh, be uh, now uh, to to organize to how to say this organizing is missing here. So we That's want great. the trail. If we want trail, we need this one. We we want trail. We need like a bed and bike. If we we need the maintenance of the trail, spare where to buy the parts and. Uh, okay. A uh, question, how many people are cycling? Like, do you have everyday cyclists, like students who would go to the university by bike? Or how do, the, how do people move in Peya? Or are they all walking because it's not a big distance? How do the young people move? Uh, mainly uh, they are walking. In Peya here because it's a small city and uh, things are very close to each other. And uh, there are some uh, bikers who are using like everyday biking. This is our uh, main uh, goal. What we want to do to promote biking to use more in city bikers yeah. and to reduce the number of the cars. And uh, but uh, this is the what we in which way we have to work to find uh, that way to in decrease the number of the cars and increase the number of okay. but uh, still there are some uh, gaps between because people are not uh, people are parking the cars in uh, pathways or yeah. like traffic very jab and uh, people are afraid to bike uh, to, to bike uh, about the accident or something like that yeah okay i think I think we can come up with a short, I have to prepare a presentation, <laughs> taking pictures from different projects. Right. Okay. But I can do that until two o'clock. I can, and of course I can tell you a lot, but I'll try to, to pick some, okay. some pictures and to have a short presentation and, and discussion how this could start. And then of course it's very specific in Peya. We're not there. It's always much easier when you're there because you walk around and you understand how a city is working. It's true. Uh, Urim was so nice to do some street view pictures so that at least we can get a little bit of a feeling. But it's always different. If you're there, then you just see it, you feel it, you understand it. It's different but, when you when you bike the <laughs> yeah. yeah you bike there when you go and there and it's yeah. different yeah. But but we. we but of course we can try and we will try and we will start some discussion and we will see how we can get thing how you can get things maybe moving and what needs to be considered what could be the first steps what could be a more systematic approach to like making some progress in the right direction that you want and, and then we also have like some uh administrative best practice from Austria because in Austria is like very is like uh, there was uh, they create also some bureaucratic uh, administrative stuff to take care about uh, uh, cycling yeah. uh, and the psych, uh, the, uh, the development of the psych path for one side so that the, the technical development and the other is like to increase the awareness of the importance of cycling. So it's like, it's, a, uh, it's always like political, technical and uh, cultural issues. And uh, there are uh, all these three things must work together. And I think we already have like uh, to import. So you are like, uh, between political and technical and uh, uh, cyclists and frontier for example are really and urim let's do it peha are really important as uh, they have they are ngo and they create awareness they can uh, like uh, teach people how to um, they can change the uh, the awareness of, of 
bike, the point of view of bike, and they can increase uh, the uh, we can change the idea of bike in in, in Picasso. This is a uh, a triangle, and if a triangle is working, then it's easier for you also to implement uh, stuff. Yeah, and maybe Urim, you 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 didn't say anything so far today regarding the cycling. What do you think? What what in which way can can we help you from your point of view? Or is everything already said that is important? For you. Uh, I was more quiet in this regard because now it's uh, a time when professionals are talking about and uh, I'm not a professional at this uh, level. So I am a, a cyclist. I, I do bike almost every day, but in this regard, uh, it's more about you. Uh, if you want to talk more about environment protection, yes, we need less cars, more bikes, and more pe people walking. Okay. But I, I do agree with most of uh, what you said so far. Oh. Before uh, before the break, I want to ask you to switch on switch on the camera, and I have to take a, a photo, a screenshot of all of us as a, a signature that we are we are there. So I want to ask uh, Urim. Uh, Urim, you are. Already, we have two Urim right now. Uh, I don't know, it's showing two times uh, two, two Urim, so I don't know what is, is happening. <laughs> I'll be, I want to ask Albiana, Dorentina, and Rian to switch on the camera if yeah, they yeah. are there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there. okay, thanks. You, you just can't get enough of Urim, you have to have two, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Smile and yeah. Great. Thanks a lot. And um did it. Should we meet at two? Is okay for you? So here you can add okay. um, perfect. And Michael. Yes, at two o'clock, okay. it's okay. Okay. Michael, let's uh let's meet at let's be online and one and then we okay. are going to maybe or, Francesco the two of us we stay now okay. in the meeting and and talk about our to do's until two o'clock. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. Thank see you, you, everybody. See you yeah. later. See you later. Thanks. Have you. a nice Thank you. Enjoy your lunch. Nice and you. See you, you, you. you too. Good. Ciao. 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 So, we already know that uh, Oh. Okay, so here we are, Francesco. Yeah. Still here. Okay. I Rana. think it was pretty interesting. Yep. And and I think I think it helps us maybe on the one hand to have the structure. There's this mountain bike issue. There's the cycling travelers issue. Yeah. And the urban and the urban. Yeah. yeah. And as far as I understand, their focus now should be on the urban cycling. Yeah. We can we can have some other ideas for maybe maybe we can split our our work a little bit mm -hmm. in the way that that maybe you can just write some bullet points regarding the the long distance cycling because yeah. like or give some example for the. With, with the Euro Velo, yeah. just, just have some thoughts on that and some thoughts on the, just maybe just write some bullet points. Also what we said already regarding the bike trails. And I tried to, to set up a, a short presentation regarding the urban cycle, the urban cycling and, and have some starting point for our discussion. And yeah, great. 
and then yeah. we can eat at one thirty. Try to prepare something quickly now. Like it's it's just you know quick and dirty, of course, because yeah. Now I want to so I want to prepare like a presentation yeah. uh, with some some images and then some reference to the website. Some EU projects. There are some new EU projects that are running. Um, then um, I was thinking also like to find out something about regarding mountain bike that something regarding the um, uh, related to the um, uh, Wienerwald. Uh, there is some good website and how they did it because I think it's really um, it's nothing related to the uh, some something technical is more like yeah. find out uh, is like more a legal issue. So where the, the bike are allowed to go, where the bike are not allowed to go. And mm. it's like, as I said, it's like more, I think it's really to sit down because they don't have to construct, to, to, to construct, to construct something new. I, I totally agree. I totally agree with you. But what I think is, they felt like maybe they don't have enough know-how or expertise to do it. So one overall idea could be, and this could be maybe a follow-up project, I don't know, to have, to really have a field trip, like a delegation of them coming to Austria, doing an excursion in Vienna on urban cycling, going to Wienerwald experience, the, yeah. the mountain bike or maybe south of Vienna or there's the Wechsel trail it's also not far and it's in Styria the near mm -hmm. Semmering the Wechsel yeah they, they are now doing I, I'm I'm not in, in into mountain biking at all I just know it from what I see and from what I hear but like having this trip it's one hour away from Vienna we go there rent a rent a bike and I know we, I even know some planners from it's a yeah, it's but a, there are also people from the rad lobby that are like more in. Yeah, so, so. We, could, we could just, and and the other thing could be like maybe doing and inviting like they could invite. They could invite some, let's say, touristic managers, tour organizers, but also maybe just some. Also, maybe planners who know how to plan a cycle path. To invite them to Bea, go to the site, check it out, do one day on a mountain bike, share some experience, share some ideas on what they could do there. I think it's just bringing bringing the people and the the, the know how together, and yeah. it's not so complicated. I think it's more like organizing and getting some money for the trips and for the workshops. Yeah. But maybe there are some European funds. I have no idea. I don't. You know, you know better. But <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so this, and then I'm this, going this to could, this could be the recommendation. Like, not not only showing solutions, but showing the way, the path, how they could learn. Yeah. And and on the other hand, like if they invite some tour operators, and they think, wow, this is a really fancy thing. It's we're the first ones who offer trips, cycling holidays in in Kosovo or I don't know. Yeah, I was I try to invite uh, the tour operator where I um, yeah. where I'm where I'm working during the summer. Okay. Uh, but uh, I is the name is Giro Libero and oh, they it's are the Italian one. Yeah. yeah, the Italian one, and they are working with. Uh, um, uh with uh, um donau touristic uh yeah. in okay. austria yeah and uh, but right now it's like it's problematic because is yeah. uh, they are not working at all yeah. uh, they are all on kurzer bite so they are yeah. uh, and they i try to reach the office but the, the office are empty for till uh till to December, something like that. So it's yeah, like, no, it's not the right time. Of course, yeah. now it's not the right time, but but time but, will come again, and then no. But maybe it's like we can prepare like an invitation. They can prepare an invitation. I can give the contact uh, with the people that are developing the yeah. new routes, and yeah.
Yes, let's do it. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I will take care about the urban and let's try to meet at 1.30. Yeah, perfect. To, to go through our presentations and maybe okay. discuss a little bit and, and improve okay. or optimize together. Okay, great. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's thanks a lot. A lot of improvisation, but let's see what we can.